Hi everyone, I hope you are all well today. In today's video I'm going to show you this quick and um, I think very pretty everyday makeup look that I've been doing most days in winter. Um, it's just very natural, it's kind of like, I like my skin to look like skin, I don't like anything too heavy, but I'm going a bit more for a kind of flawless base than I used to, trying to get more coverage and longevity out of my makeup. I'm going to start by using the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and this is shade light. I probably could do the fair one now but I only have the light one so I'm going to use that. And to be honest I didn't like this when I first got it but um, I'm getting used to it and I actually quite like the finish it gives now. It is very full coverage um, for a tinted moisturiser in my opinion. It's a beauty blender to blend it in. It's very dewy I really like the finish. The secret for me is that I don't put on a moisturiser before, so I just put on a toner that I have, a killed one, and I find that it helps to make it feel less oily or greasy on my skin, um, because it is quite moisturising, it's got a lot of skincare benefits to it, so my mirror's over here, so that's why I'm looking this way. I'm just going to take an extra pump for my neck, because I feel like it's not matching the colour enough. So yeah, when people first started raving about this, I wasn't I couldn't really see what the fuss is about. Skin seems to be okay with it at the moment as long as I don't put too many um, moisturising products on it. For me it takes quite a lot of blending in, I just really need to like work it into the skin a lot and yeah, it takes a while but I think it, um, it gives a nice kind of like slightly glowy finish to my makeup and doesn't make me doesn't make me feel like I've put too much on or like look too cakey. SPF 50, UVA, UVB. So it does like a bit of everything really, which I really like. Don't mind me just drinking my coffee. Made an iced coffee this morning and it has um, a bit of creme brulee flavor coffee in. So good. And cinnamon on top as well. And my concealer of choice at the moment is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, which you have heard me talk about so many times, I'm sure. Let's grab a brush to go with it. So I'd like to put a bit under my eyes, but I think the CC cream gives a lot of coverage anyway, but for the video I'll add some. Um, underneath my eyes, you brighten the under eye area. This is the shade Fair, because I'm pale, and they do have a new shade out, which is like extra fair I think, but um, I think that would be too pale for me, if I'm honest. I have a couple of spots which I think were blessed to me from um, New York primer that I used the other day. If you saw my Instagram stories you know what I'm talking about but I was trying a new Neod um, primer and I used it for a few days and then I got all these breakouts so I think um, it probably caused it. I'm going to leave this concealer um, to set. I'm just going to blend it in on my chin. I'm going to leave it to set underneath my eyes while I do my brows and my favourite brow product at the moment is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I have the shade dark brown and I would like to get a lighter shade because I feel like um, my hair's a bit lighter at the moment and I feel like it looks a bit too dark if I um, fill them in too much so I think the soft brown shade would be quite good for me because I can like fill them in more without looking too, um, what's that character on Nickelodeon? If you ever watch Hey Arnold, is it? Is he the one? Someone on there has a mono brow and it, or I always think of her when I um, do my brows. But this is the dark brow um, pomade and you can see I've used it quite a lot um, and the brush that comes with it. I think you have to buy a brush separately actually but um, I'm just going to brush my brows up. Now they are quite like filled in anyway um, but I just like to go over the edge at the moment and make sure they're really like defined and looking um, symmetrical. I feel like I need a lot of concentration when I do my brows. Just stab very lightly, like not taking too much at all, because I don't want it to be too harsh. Sometimes I get foundation on the um, inner bit, so I like to um, just get rid of that. I think this one's a bit thicker than that one, but um, eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins, aren't they? So I just get a brush and then brush up again. And it kind of blends the product in slightly, not much, but um, it really stays in place all day. And I don't tend to use a brow gel because I don't feel like my brows need it, but you could add a brow gel on top if you wanted to. I'm going to blend in this concealer now, um, just as the beauty blender, to make sure it's all good to stay. Today I'm going into Oxford um, with my friend Zoe, she's come to visit me from Nottingham 
and yeah we were uni housemates and um, we're going to go to a Sri Lankan food place in Oxford called Coconut um, Coconut Tree I think it's called, I'll link it down below um, and we're going to have a nice lunch there, they invited me down so it's very nice of them and um, yeah I'm looking forward to trying Sri Lankan food because I've never tried that before Ooh, Siri is talking to me and now I'm going to use a um, translucent setting powder which is the RMCA or no, RCMA <laughs> no colour powder now to be honest I kind of just tap this onto my hand because I find the packaging quite annoying um, so I'm going to still do that for the video you don't have to do that but that's just um, what I like to do I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and this um, just I find helps to set my concealer in place and give me a nice matte finish which I quite like my skin doesn't get very oily during the day but I just find um, my makeup looks a lot better when it's matte rather than too dewy because I don't know, I just find it looks nicer on my skin okay, um, powder done I'm going to add a bit of blush now because I fancy adding um, a little pop of pink and I've been quite enjoying just wearing a bit of blusher and no bronze at the moment um, but I find I need a tiny bit of shape to my face um, so I'm going to add this Benefit Dandelion Powder which is a really pretty ballet pink colour I've probably used it before in a video um, this is the brush that comes with it which I quite like so I'm going to use it today and just add a bit onto the apples in my cheeks or my cheekbones rather I don't really like to go too far in because I find it makes my face look too chubby um, so I'm going to go on the outside of my face it just gives a subtle um, amount of definition to my face without adding too much colour and I'm probably using a really weird technique but um, <laughs> this is how I do it and then I'm going to take a bit on my eye socket as well I think it's quite nice when you kind of tie in the blush and the eyeshadow tiny bit on my forehead just to give a bit of warmth to my skin without looking too like sunburnt now I'm going to do my eye makeup and I'm going to start off I'm going to do quite a neutral toned eye, um, lots of mascara as always because that's my go-to and some eyeshadow, I don't tend to use eyeshadow during the week so much but um, for the weekends I like to play around a bit of my makeup um, and then sometimes during the week I do use this and it's the NYX eyeshadow base which is just, I think it was shade 2 or something, just a nude eyeshadow um, like concealer just to make sure you've got no discoloration on your eyelids and it keeps the um, colour of the eyeshadow quite true so I'm just going to add a bit onto my eyes I don't feel like myself without um, mascara on okay so that's done and now I'm going to use um, these eyeshadows and it is the Naked Basics 2 palette my mum has the first one and I think I prefer that but this is quite nice too um, it's got some really nice matte eyeshadows and I really like it because it, they are matte and a lot of eyeshadow palettes these days I find have a lot of shimmer in and I don't really like shimmer on an everyday basis so just for daytime I like these ones and this really nice slim palette that you can fit in your handbag or um, take away with you if you're going away somewhere so I like to use these two shades mostly and then these two in the crease I rarely use those two because I find with me and eyeshadows, I mentioned this before I'm sure, um, I get like watery eyes if I put eyeshadow too close to the lash line so I'm going to stick with these ones, these four for now and yeah, just to show you them close up so I'm going to take um, my MAC 217 brush and use the light shades so you can see My battery just ran out so I had to take a quick break um, but all I did in between that was finish off the eyeshadow and curl my eyelashes with the Kevin O'Quan eyelash curlers so now I'm going to get on to mascara and finish off this look um, I've curled my eyelashes as I said so I'm going to add a tiny bit of my mascara always takes the longest out of all my makeup so um, I'm going to use two and the first one I'm going to use is a Marc Jacobs um, for Major Volume Mascara which I was given um, at a John Lewis event so I'm going to use this as a base layer 
and then I'm going to go over the top with L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt um, once this is dried a bit so I'm going to kind of speed this up a bit I think because it takes me a long time to apply mascara and you'll be very bored watching that so I'm going to apply this quickly now I always get a tiny bit of like fallout from um, mascara underneath my lashes so I always have a few q-tips on hand just to um, tidy that up. I find the false lash sculpt is just a great one for like adding like definition and it gets in every nook and cranny. And it's a really good affordable mascara. So whatever mascara I use I normally like to finish off with this one or waterproof one if I'm going to um, the gym or something. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of brown liner onto the inner corners of my eyes and just add a bit of definition. Um, nothing too crazy but I'll be having photos taken today so I want something um, my eyes to look a bit more kind of bigger than they would if I didn't have um, eyeliner on. So this is a Marc Jacobs um, highliner in Earthquake and it's a really nice dark brown and these formulas last so well and really easily and just last all day and my go-to kind of eyeliner look is just to add um, lengthen slightly this bit and I always apply eyeliner when I've done my mascara which I know is probably really weird but I can kind of see how much I want to put on without um, going too crazy I add a tiny bit underneath Obviously wait till your mascara dries before we do this. Just kind of dotting along the lower lash line and then I blend it in after. Going like really lightly, I'm barely even touching the lashes. I'm gonna get my trusty Q-tip and blend that out. It just cleans up a bit and makes it look a bit more polished. Okay, so eye makeup done and now I'm going to add a tiny bit of highlight. Um, I'm not going to use any highlighter on my face but I fancy doing some on the inner corner of my eyes. So this is just a white pencil from H&M um, Eye Colour To Go in, I'm guessing, uh, shade white Chantilly, I think it's called. I'm going to use a tiny bit on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten it. Um, I'm not very tired but I feel like I look a bit tired today. Um, and then the inner corner just to kind of make the eyes pop a bit more I don't do this every day but sometimes it's quite nice too and then because that looks a bit crazy I will blend it out with my fingers pat it in and sometimes I quite like it to be obvious but um, I like it to look blended at the same time so nearly done onto the last few steps um, I'm going to use a powder just to set everything in place and this is the Kiko Radiant Fusion Bait Powder in shade number one. I got this recently, um, it was in the sale and I needed a new powder so I thought I'd try it out and it is very nice, it's a bit, I kind of hoped it would be like the Hourglass Ambient Light Powders and it's probably not the same but um, I feel like it looks kind of similar and gives a nice finish so I'm going to use a Kabuki brush just to um, pat that on. It's not completely matte so it has a nice kind of skin like finish to it. And now I'm just going to add um, some lip gloss which is, well it's not really lip gloss but it's a lip balm that I use um, most days because I really like it. And it's a Clarins um, Natural Lip Perfector in shade 2 I think. It's really nice natural pink and it tastes like caramel and it doesn't feel too sticky on your lips but it makes them look a bit plumper and just adds a really nice colour, subtle colour and um, just nice and moisturising so I tend to use this because I can't be asked with like a lip liner and stuff um, every day so I'm going to be eating today so I need something quick and easy so that is that done and then I'm going to kind of undo the palette I just did but I feel like it adds a nice natural finish um, to my skin it's the Coldly Beauty Elixir which a lot of people use I know um, because it's really nice and it smells really good and it's good for your skin I personally get on with the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray. It actually gives me a 
like spots when I use it, so I tend to avoid that if I can. It's a shame because I think that'd be really good, but I use this just um, to kind of help make everything look a bit fresher, a bit more seamless. So I'm going to spray this on now. It just like waft and then soaks into my skin. And there we have the finished look, a very kind of natural, everyday, soft, um, wintery makeup look, I like to call this. Thank you for watching, I hope you like this look, and I will see you again very soon.